my chest. Oh, yeah. Yes! Confirm the threat here. I'm both hands behind. Catch it. I'm out of the outside shoulder. Bring yourself a little bit forward. Go into the chest. Yes. Go ahead. Go ahead. Ow! What are you <laughs> Coffee delivery. Thanks. I have to explain. For those of you out there who keep saying that my belt is tied wrong, let me explain why I tie my belt the way that I do and why it doesn't matter to me what you think. <laughs> All right, when I first started Jiu Jitsu, I was training under a guy who was just a white belt and um, he was the first one to show me how to tie a belt. First gi I had, he had done years of karate, all that sort of thing. And there's multiple ways of tying the belt, right? Some people argue that there's better ways of tying the belt. It's just a belt. Just tie the belt, right? When I first learned, it was just like I just did there, right? Across the gi, left over right. Usually the, the one side has the tag on it that goes on the, on the outside. I'm not sure exactly why. All right. Take this, start, start from the middle, go all the way around, cross in the back, come in front. Okay, whichever one's on the top goes under both. This is how I tied it for years, right? I tied all my belts up to black belt this way, around both, because this is the first way I learned. And boom, just like that, all right? Now, the way I tie it now is the same way that Grandmaster Helson ties his belt, the same way that I've seen Hicks and pretty much anybody in the Gracie family, as far as I understand. Uh, from my own recollection or memory, uh, the same way Grandmaster Elio tied his belt. Here, cross in the back, in the front, and instead of going around both, you only go around the front one, just like this, okay? Then the one that's on the top goes over, under, and through, okay? Now, the reason I started changing once I got my black belt was because my belt was thicker and it would constantly come undone. And I learned this belt tie back when I was a purple belt. When I was, uh, I was competing in a competition um, um, and my belt came off, uh, Carlson Gracie Sr. Carlson Sr. was my, uh, my referee. Didn't speak any English, didn't matter, but he gives me this, this sign. So I start to tie my belt the way I normally do. I'm a purple belt around here. And one time I actually forgot, he did it for me. I, it, I was so into the match, so crazy. I actually forgot how to tie my own belt. But this time I started doing this and he goes, no, 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 no. And he came over and he corrected me. He changed it. And he actually showed me basically without any, um, without any, any English, he showed me why or his reasoning, why it was wrong the way I was tying my belt when I went around both, okay? I know for some of you guys, you don't like this untidy cross in the back. Whatever, okay? <laughs> to each his own. You can, have, you can tie it however fancy way you want. I just decide I just want to put my belt on, right? So the reason he said that to not tie it this way is that when you start fighting around and the geese starts being pulled this way, that way, this back end actually will untie or loosen the knot and it'll come undone. And so that's why, this is from my recollection. Keep in mind, this is probably 15 years ago. But that is why, you tie it here, the knot stays there, and the back end of the belt doesn't really affect it. So that is why I tie my belt the way that I do. So for everybody that keeps railing on my, my belt tie, I'm sorry, I don't tie it any fancy way. I don't do the Hollywood style or the super knot, whatever you want to call it. This is just the way I learned first and a sort of a modified version. It was corrected uh, not to go around the second part, but just in the front. And if it's good enough for Ayla Gracie, it's good enough for me. So there you go. How to tie your belt. Yes, good. Remember, slap here first, boom, and then behind. Yes, good. Now a little bit more. Close, pull it in, pull yourself into it, into it. There you go, good. All right, now if I come here, you're gonna switch. This hand comes here, yes. Don't grab the gi, grab the elbow. 
I may not have, uh, I may not always have material here, but if I'm pushing on your chest, I'll always have an elbow, right? So slap and grab, boom, bow to the outside, go. Good, so this is how you practice. Okay, now the other side, just to develop your reflexes. Do that. Same thing. Uh -oh. okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I push here, that hand comes across, there you go. So economy of motion, that's gonna come straight up. That's it, good. So from here, boom. That's, That's it. Right. Okay. Yes, good. Now bow to the outside. Go. Yes, good. All right. 